Does Insta360 have a new drone? This leaked photo is real. And I can tell you that because I've actually flown it. Here are seven things I can tell you as a beta tester. But first, here's the trailer. Gravity. We've been battling it since the beginning. It knocks us down. But every time, we rise. We crawl. We walk. We climb. We fly. From paper planes to pioneers, we defy the weight of the world. Turn boundaries into brilliance. As gravity presses us, we press back with purpose. Harder. Stronger. Higher. We weren't made to stay put. We were made to soar. Gravity may be given, but that doesn't mean we have to take it. In this leaked photo, we see two drones. This drone, I don't know anything about it. But this drone, this is the one that I got to try in China. So first, is it an Insta360 drone? No, it is not. When we see anti-gravity there, that's not the model name. That's the company that made it. So anti-gravity is a different company from Insta360. But anti-gravity and Insta360 are working very closely together. Now, you might have also heard that DJI is releasing their first 360 camera, the Osmo 360, in, on July 31, just a few days from now. So it's really interesting to see a rivalry between DJI and Insta360. So one thing you might be wondering is, does Insta360 have a chance? I mean, DJI is so big. In fact, if you look at the trailer ad, it alludes a little bit to this concept because it's talking about gravity as this unstoppable force, and yet we strive to defy it. And I think it's in a way a subtle allusion to DJI. Like everyone knows DJI as this like behemoth, this invincible juggernaut that no one can beat, at least with respect to drones. Yet there's this small company that dares to defy DJI. Oops, I mean gravity. Anyway, I think this rivalry between DJI and Insta360 can only be of benefit to consumers. And I'm looking forward to seeing what each of them can do. Let's talk about the specs of this drone. I don't know all the specs, but I can tell you the weight is under 250 grams. So in many jurisdictions, you'll be able to use this drone without having to register it. Um, I can also tell you that the video resolution is 8K. Now when we hear 8K, the first question we wonder is, is this a 360 drone? So that's the next thing I want to uh, tell you about. Um, so we have the resolution, it's 8K, that that by itself does not mean that it is a 360 drone. So this, for example, uh, is the Hover X1 Pro Max. I've, uh, I have beta tested this uh, drone and it is 8K. So this is an example for drone that's 8K, but it's not 360. So just the fact that this drone is 8K doesn't necessarily mean it is 360. Having said that, when we look at the trailer very carefully, we see some shots that look like they're tiny planets or tiny planet transformations. And that would be possible only if this was a 360 drone. And then plus, we look at the anti-gravity logo. It looks like a tiny planet. So all signs point to this being a 360 drone. Now you might be wondering what exactly is a 360 drone and who needs one? 
I actually have several 360 drones. I've been flying them for several years now. 360 drones are kind of like normal drones, but they capture a fully spherical 360 view. Not only that, but in most uh, 360 drones, the body of the drone is within the blind spot of those two 360 lenses. So the body disappears from the shot. So yeah, it, we like to call our 360 cameras invisible flying cameras. Well, a 360 drone is more literally an invisible flying camera. Because they capture a fully spherical 360 view, you can uh, change the view to any direction that you want or even in multiple directions simultaneously. Okay, so that's cool, but how useful is this? I had an assignment once where I brought a, a regular FPV drone with a GoPro camera and then I had a 360 drone with me at the same time. And I flew the same location first with the GoPro uh, and the FPV drone. And then I flew it again, this time with the 360 drone. And you can see this, how the shots are different. At the end of the assignment, I asked the client to choose which one do they prefer, and they chose the 360 drone. Next question, is this hard to fly? 360 FPV drones, like the one I used for that assignment and the others that I, I've had before, they're very challenging to fly. I mean, FPV drones in general are already challenging to fly because they're almost always manual. It's not stabilized by GPS. Not usually. When you add 360 lenses, then you take the difficulty a step further because number one, usually they have a very poor power to weight ratio. It makes it harder to fly as smoothly. And secondly, um, because they have lenses on both sides, if you crash, you're very likely to damage your lenses. I have, I've done that. In fact, I've actually lost a 360 drone over the Pacific Ocean, but we'll talk about that next time. Anyway, this anti-gravity drone is fortunately much easier to fly. Uh, it is, I would say, it is possible for a total beginner to fly it on their first day. What about the price? Um, I don't know the exact price for this drone, uh, but the rumors I've heard about the price, um, if they're true, 
uh, it means that this drone is not cheap, but it is a good value. Like you get um, a lot of value for the price that you pay. All right, so when is it coming out? The anti-gravity drone will be announced in August. So that's when you're going to see it. You're going to see the specs and everything. Um, but my understanding is that it's not immediately going to be available for release that time. So let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in 360.